Well, hello, it's a beautiful sunny day here at Elmset in Suffolk. I'm with Nick, who's a PPL. Okay, ready to start? Yeah, ready for start. Nick trained at Inverness and is now living in the southern bit of England and has been introduced to our controlled airspace down here, which I think is giving him a bit of the heebie-jeebies. The purpose of today's flight is to pick up India Victor from maintenance here. Just rock your seat, check it's locked in, you're belted up, and I'll just put your shoulders straight off. Otherwise my viewers will moan. We're going to fly down to Earl's Combe, pick up some fuel, then we're going to fly the aeroplane back to Red Hill. And I want to talk to you about an idea I've had to try and encourage more people into learning to fly. So this is a nice seven minute flight. <laughs> Watch some traffic, Golf Bravo Mike India Victor, Piper Arrow, lining up for departure runway 23 at Elm Set and departing straight ahead. Watch some traffic. Okay, nothing on the opposite, nothing on base. On that final. Okay, happy to go. Beep. Here we go. Whoa. So I've got 41 inches and no more. I've got good power set. Air speed is increasing. T's and P's are in the green, trying to get the nose off. Nose is just off, it's bouncing a little bit, but that's all right. We'll just let it reach flying speed, hold it down in ground effect, and climb away. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Uh, landing light's coming off. Got the gear up. And we're at a safe height, safe speed. Laps away. Like putting a foot down in a supercar. <laughs> oh, the, when you release the brakes, it's you get a little bit of a, a, a jolt, don't you? Now, my head was on the headrest. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm coming back to 75% power from full power. So I'm just easing the throttle back to 30. Four inches, and you notice there's no change in pitch of the RPM. Yep. I can now change the RPM to 2450, which is 75% climb power. And I've got 33, 2450, 103 knots, which is what we want. And with the VP prop, every time you go up a thousand feet, you need to increase this by an inch because it will drop as atmospheric pressure falls. Watching traffic, Golf Private Mike in Victor is a Piper Arrow. We're airborne from Elmset, uh, just leaving the mat to the southwest, heading southwest bound. Routing Earl's Cone, uh, passing altitude 1,200 feet, watch him traffic. What you'll find with this aircraft is the airspeed takes a while to build up to its cruise speed. So you don't want to come off the power straight away. It's still got a bit of a way to go. So I'm coming back to 55% uh, cruise now, which is 28, 23. Not going to bother leaning because we're going to need to uh, come back down again in a second anyway. Landing lights off, flaps are up, gears up, auto gear we will engage so the light goes off. And uh, we'll give them a call. Hells Current Radio, Golf Bravo Mike and Victor is eight miles to the northeast, inbound request aerodrome information. Golf Bravo Mike and Dia Victor, this Hells Current Radio, runway 06, right hand circuit, QNH 1029 or QFE 1021. 06, right hand circuit, QNH 1029 at Golf and Victor. Golf India Victor, be advised, one aircraft just taken off the local area, one in the circuit. Golf India Victor. We're on 2 9 we'll put that on QFE for situational awareness. Luxury of having two of those, quite nice. So I now have to integrate into the Earl's Cone circuit, which isn't busy, just one aircraft there. I want to do so as safely as possible, but also without undue delay. So I listen to the radio calls the circuit traffic is making to see if I can plan how I'm going to fit in. I'm not sure we're going to get ahead of him. We may have to go out to the... Uh, there's the airfield down there. We might do, actually. Keep the speed up. No, we've got no lack of it. Huh? So we've got no lack yeah, of it. Yeah, we've just got to lose it again, haven't we? Gone around. Oh, I just, no, he's just gone around. Got a big Roger. Uh, visual with him. Yeah. He's just gone underneath your wing. We might be able to get ahead of him. Still visual. He's going to turn crosswind in a minute, though, isn't he? He is going to turn. So we'll go down to the south then, and uh, so we'll go. We'll change tanks now. Do a free to check fuel, radios, engine temperatures and pressures, direction indicator, and altimeter to nine. Are you strapped in? Golf XR downwind. Uh, Golf XR, Roger. Oh, there's the airfield, yeah. 
Yeah, visual with field, not with traffic though. So we're kind of parallel to them downwind now. Golf Invictus, three miles to the southeast, and uh, we'll integrate in the circuit, uh, joining uh, right base runway 06 behind the downwind traffic. Golf Invictus, I'm going to start slowing us up now. But what I'll do is get the gear out, and I will lose 15, oh. 20 knots. Yep, air brake. Final. Golf Victor, Victor entering the ATZ from the south, height uh, 1000 feet. Golf Victor, Victor. I'm just crossing the threshold. That is, yeah. yeah. Got uh, brakes, undercarriage down three greens, mixture is rich. Flaps we've got coming on, propeller to come, T's and P's are in the green. Doors locked, strapped in. Are we on the grass or on the hard? It's entirely up to you. My uh, landings look more flattering on the grass, so I'm going to go for the grass. Floating like a crazy thing. I was bang on speed. I flared in the undershoot and still floated halfway down the runway. Well, welcome to Earl's Cone, my home from home. We're just going to get some fuel and then we'll have the slightly longer flight, all half an hour of it, out to Red Hill. Nice to see you again, as usual. <laughs> you don't give me time to do my hair and makeup, do you? <laughs> So we've uh, filled up with fuel at Earl's Combe. We've had fun meeting the team here. Uh, a lovely warm welcome as always. A bit of banter that goes on, of course. And we're gonna get in the aircraft now and head back to Red Hill. Okay, master switches on, alternators on, magnetos on both. On this leg of the flight, I wanted to talk to you about an idea that I've had to try and encourage more people to learn to fly. There's been a dramatic fall in the number of people learning to fly recently. So what can we all do to try and encourage more people to take up flying? And one idea I have was to share my free seats. Very often I fly solo, as I've done today, and I offered my free seat to uh, Nick, who's a PPL and was interested in, in coming in the Arrow. But I could equally uh, share a seat with somebody that's just interested in learning to fly, or maybe a student pilot. So if, that, if you fall into that category, and you wanna see whether it's for you, then sign up to my free newsletter through my website the link's going to be on your screen and what I will do is periodically post occasions when I've got free seats in my aeroplane and you can uh, join me in India Victor perhaps. Golf India Victor has left the ATZ to the southwest uh, climbing through altitude 2,000 feet. Golf India Victor Roger. So one of the re reasons that Nick and I wanted to get Nick in the aeroplane today was because he's kind of lacking confidence in the southeast airspace. You know, it's quite busy, isn't it, down here? Yeah, it's incredibly busy. So I thought I'd just show him, you know, a flight, a simple flight with me and how it really isn't an issue. If you plan your flight well, it's not an issue. So um, here we go. Uh, spare seats. So sign up to my newsletter, which is free, by the way, on my website. And if I've got a spare seat, then I will notify my followers I've got a spare seat and then you can let me know if you want to join me on that leg. Now it might not be a return leg, I must warn you, and I'll state when it's a one-way trip. You may have to find your own way back or it may be that I'm going somewhere and I'm going to be there for a while and you might need to wait for me. But at least you get a... Uh, that's what Nick's doing actually, you're, you're getting the train back, aren't you, from yeah. Red Hill. Um, so if you fancy that, I'd love to hear from you. I'd really like to support people who are either interested in, you know, seriously interested in learning to fly, haven't yet got the money to do it, want to see if it, how they, how they get on in the cockpit. That's perhaps the, the first people I'd love to hear from. Student pilots who are going through it, and there may be then PPLs who lack a bit of confidence, like like Nick here, you know, hasn't flown around London airspace for a bit, and just want to see what's involved, then, uh, as I say, sign up for the free newsletter and I will notify. They may, these, these notifications may come short notice, I must warn you, because I sometimes am a little bit instinctive and sporadic. 
I also want to uh, support people from less represented backgrounds, so you know, black and ethnic minority people, uh, women and LGBT people, or people on low income. So if you sort of fall into one of those categories, you know, I really want to help you especially. But I'm here with my free seat, and uh, what I'll do is when I've got a free seat, I'll ask you just to send me a little bit of info about you, um, why you want to come with me, and uh, and we shall see if we can meet up in the cockpit. I think that's going to hopefully encourage a few people to, to come and see what it's all about, and hopefully I won't scare you witless. If you've already decided to learn to fly and you're looking for a flying school, a good place to start is the AOPA UK website. Go to the training and safety section where there's an excellent learning to fly guide and a list of approved and declared flying schools and clubs. As a student pilot, you can get free AOPA UK membership. And if you're a qualified pilot, you can use my special discount link to get 25% off a new one or two year membership. AOPA UK, securing our freedom to fly. Red Hill Tower, Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, Bow Beach Reservoir, inbound with Echo Q and H1028. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, Red Hill Tower, flash message. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, is inbound from Earl's Cone uh, to POB. Request join. Golf India Victor, basic service, squawk 3767. Reports Godstone, traffic in opposite direction, CT outbound to the east by Godstone Railway Station. Roger, report uh, Goldstone Squawk 3767, basic service, uh, traffic not yet sighted, Golf Papa Golf Papa Papa, traffic is a fixed wing inbound from the east to Goldstone. Looking for the traffic, Golf Papa. Back in the light on. Fuel. Radios, we've got a mixture rich as well. Radios are tuned, identified, engine temperatures and pressures are all in the green. Direction indicator is aligned and altimeter 1028. Let's set that now. Should have done that. There's the traffic there, that's probably the CT design. Golf India Victor, traffic in sight. Golf India Victor, join left base, runway 18, number one. Join left base, 18, number one, Golf India Victor. I just want to mention that the Flying Reporter Pilot Briefing podcast for May is out now. It's a roundup of regulation updates, proposals, airspace change news and safety information. You can download it on Spotify, Google, Apple or your favourite podcasting platform. And even watch the video version of the podcast on my new channel, the Flying Reporter Pilot Briefing Room. The briefings probably won't show up in your feed unless you're subscribed to that channel, so hop on over there now and join up. If you're a Supporters Club member or have signed up to the free newsletter, you'll get an email notification when they come out as well. Golf India Victor, runway 18, surface wind 130 degrees, 6 knots, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 18, Golf India Victor. Reds, blues and three greens. I have to slip it a bit because I'm a bit... Uh, Hi. I've done my best job on this, to be honest. to the channel, uh, subscribe to the free newsletter, join the supporters club if you'd like to, and uh, bag a free seat with the flying reporter. I didn't scare you too much? No, I was fine. <laughs>